Hi everyone, this is Jay and today I'm going to show you how to install Alt Store and Delta on the iPad Pro and the iPhone. It's the same process so that we can play emulators. This includes NES, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and even N64. Check it out. Alright, so we have the tablet here. We'll also need a PC for this or a Mac. And first things first, you want to install iTunes. Um, this will allow you to connect your iPad to your PC, right? And when you do that, go to or uh, search for iTunes and make sure that you are installing not from the Microsoft Store, but down here, click Windows and download iTunes for Windows now. Another one to note is if you did not get to install iCloud for Windows, uh, with the iTunes installation, you will need to download that separately and once again search for it and then go down here download iClouds for Windows on Apple's website. So install both of those and once that's done, um, let me close those tabs, you will go to the altstore.io webpage and this one very easy, you just select your operating system. I'll actually do it now. Windows, let it download. Um, if it's in this zip format, you may have to download WinZip, but I believe um, but I believe Windows 10 has a native zip program. So drag those out and I'm gonna use my desktop here just to show everything. Uh, set up and let it install click, click close and once that's done minimize this alright so after it installs just type alt store on your search bar down there alt server I mean and click that and on the bottom right of your um, taskbar, you'll see Alt Store running. So now what you will do is, let me delete these installation icons. What you will do is connect your iPad to your PC. So make sure you have a USB-C cord. Just connect it. and your computer should find your iPad. If you have not paired this with your iTunes, this would be a good time to do that because you will need to. And let me open up iTunes as well. It's actually open already. And as you can see, this icon right here, that's your iPad. And then, that's how you know that it's connected properly. Let's minimize that for now. And then on the bottom right again, where Alt Store is, or Alt Server, uh, go to Install Alt Store and then iPad 11 Pro. Uh, for your, it, it'll show whichever iPad or iOS device that you have connected. It may be your iPhone, iPad Air, um, anything, any iOS that's running at least um, iOS 13. Alright, so this is the tricky part right here. It'll ask you for your Apple ID and password. Um, I have done this before and I will say that, the, that this part is actually fairly safe. If you would like to, you can use a mock Apple ID and password, but then you would need to also be signed into that on your iPad. So this part, I'll log into my own account. All right, so now it's installing Alt Store and installation succeeded. After that, you will see Alt Store on the iPad. And Alt Store actually uh, in itself carries the Delta app and the Delta app is the emulator. All right, now we have Alt Store on the iPad Pro. So if I click that, it'll say untrusted developer. 
So what we'll do is go to settings and go to general and then right here on the right go down to device management it'll say developer app and it'll show you your email address and then trust your email address so it'll say trust email address apps on this iPad click trust and then after that the alt store app should load alright so here are the apps on the alt store there's not many but these are the ones that back then would require um, jailbreaking so Delta clip and this one allows you to manage your clipboard history and Delta Lite so Delta Lite looks like it's NES and regular Delta is a whole bunch of emulators so I'm gonna click this and then this will ask me to sign in alright so once you're logged in it'll greet you with this instruction sheet and this is just going over the things that I'm actually showing you now um, you can also enable iTunes Wi-Fi sync um, that's because all of the all of the apps within alt store expires every seven days and you have to use alt store to refresh them and if alt store itself um, expires you have to connect the iPad back to your PC and reinstall um, alt, alt store if that makes sense and to prevent that it's actually this instruction right here apps refresh automatically in the background when on the same Wi-Fi as alt server and make sure your computer is not blocking that program or else that will not work click got it and then it'll go into installing our emulator so this emulator um, it's really meant for the iPhone because the way that the um, the way that the UI is set there's one for portrait but there's also one for horizontal it's just um, the way that it'll feel when you're playing it on with a device like this um, that is why I am gonna connect an Xbox controller and play it that way so open there are no games um, let's head back to the computer so let me open up iTunes and so I'm on my iPad Pro here on the left side and I'm gonna go to file sharing I'm gonna click Delta add file and I have um, directed my folders to Mega Man 10 Mega Man X alright so Mega Man 10 is on there click sync and it'll upload that onto the iPad and then back on the iPad click the plus sign click iTunes import and there you go games there let me switch this back to horizontal view alright so we have Mega Man 10 running I do have an Xbox controller already paired up with the iPad Pro we're gonna go up here and just make sure that the controller is set correctly and clicking customize controller isn't actually for the for the Bluetooth controller it's for the on-screen controller so let me see SNES save and go to settings click done and then let's load up the game So to install um, other ROMs, you would just follow the same process. So let's get into this. And for this specific game, for some reason, the trigger will start the game. Another mapping issue that I noticed for this one, it could be a glitch, but um, instead of the normal Y and B, it's X and A that that um, has them that's mapped all the shooting and jumping action.
All right, so as you can see, it's very fluid. It's a good emulator. And I believe that is pretty much it for the video. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. I'm actually planning to have a follow-up video so that we can play PSP and even GameCube games uh, emulated on the iPad Pro. Thanks for watching, and uh, you can load up all your SNES, NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and N64 games on Delta, and I believe they're even working on um, DS support. But for now, you can play the classics and get on gaming. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.